G'day everyone. Uh, welcome to Salt With You. It is now Wednesday the 18th of August and today I just want to uh, uh, just say some encouraging words. I know that it feels very natural to worry in times like this, especially when there's uh, many areas of concern, whether it's things happening uh, in other countries across the world, um, whether it's our finances, our relationships and and even our our, our, our physical uh, being restrained now not being able to go and do the things that we want to do um, so it can feel it can feel very natural to be worried but uh, it can feel even even more than that um, being worried can even feel appropriate um, with, with all of this going on being worried can feel like an appropriate response um, almost like a reasonable way of responding like a well, after all, since I can't do anything about all these concerns, worrying can make me feel like I'm, I'm actively doing something about it. That's what, I, that's what I'm able to contribute to the situation. So today I just want to remind you that that's not the case. You know, we don't have to be linked and we don't have to be um, uh, tied to all those areas of concern that we're going through at the moment. Uh, the Apostle Paul, uh, when, he, when he wrote letters to the church... And when he wrote to the Philippians, um, he was in jail at the time and he was living in a, in, within a government that weren't very happy about him spreading the news about Jesus. Um, so he was totally confined. But he says this in Philippians 4, uh, verse 12. He says, I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learnt the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, I can do all, th all of this through him who gives me strength. So Paul's saying that regardless of whether times are really good or whether times are really bad, whether he's got plenty or whether he feels like he's got nothing, he says he is not linked and he's not tied to his circumstances. Even, even, even in jail, he is pointing out that he has strength that comes from somewhere else, somewhere else that isn't connected to, to, to his, his concerns at the time. And that's true for us as well. You know, whatever we're feeling at the moment, um, our inner world isn't tied to the, thing, the concerning things that are happening around us. Our emotions, our thoughts, our, our spiritual life with God, um, we're free, you know, none of those things are tied uh, to this lockdown. So uh, if today you feel like that you are tied to, to concern and that, and that worry is a reasonable response, and I just want to encourage you to maybe just take some time and imagine untying it. If, 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 our, if our inner life and our, our spirituality and our emotions and our mind are so linked to everything that's going on. Imagine untying that big knot and then and maybe spend some time with Jesus and imagine uh, re retying that knot with him. One of those knots that you just that you can't get undone, you know, there's always something at home you got to try and get the knot out and you can't. You know, Im imagine retying yourself to that source of strength that that has is totally independent of our circumstances. Um, so remember to spend some time with him. Um, have a great week and we'll see you later. Bye.